This is your daily market recap for Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max, CDXP Realty, AKA the trading agent. And this is your daily market recap for Thursday. Wow, October 20th, 2022. Hopefully you are having a good day, staying safe. A lot to talk about. Please stick around for the whole video. I think you'll appreciate it. I know there's a lot of newer folks out there who are uh, new to the channel, new to Twitter, new to everything. And as I always say, when the student is ready, a teacher appears. This is not a channel about basically giving out free calls, free ideas, free thought processes. No, the goal is to ultimately teach people how to be independently minded and along the way grow a Discord room that is very skilled. That, again, is a room full of people who genuinely help each other out keep an eye on things and allow you to live your life. Full-time trading is not the goal. Trust me, you do not want to sit around and watch this for six and a half hours every day. The goal is to pull and extract money out with as much ease as possible. On that note, if you are studying, watching the Back to Basics videos, been involved and want to jump in the Discord room, I will open it up for newer folks. Other than that, again, I am not Jim Cramer as a lot of people love to... Uh, they add this little, what is it? If you can see this, there's a funny meme. They, they put my head into this and created this for the Discord room. I am not Jim Cramer. It's supposed to be like a picture of me pointed with on Cramer's head, but point being, goal is for you to be independent. Goal is not to ever be dependent on anyone else. Knowing the market is like any other skill. It takes time to learn. You give it your full efforts. I guarantee you will be a better trader. All right, let's jump into it. Bitcoin, <clears throat> nothing. Got absolutely nothing on it. People keep talking about buy, sell, trade, dead money. I mean, the word of the week, month, whatever you want to call it, is the ability to pivot and change your mind. People who can't change their mind find themselves walking their way into their own problems. Now, no one is perfect. Let's not sit here and say anyone is omnipotent in that I somehow walk on water, you walk on water. No. The goal is to put the probabilities in your favor. And when things don't look right, I mean, I talked about the day, the three strike rule. If I do something and after the third time, it just isn't giving me what I need, I give up <clears throat> and I'll move on. And sometimes I'll even delete the ticker from my watch list for a couple days to come back to it. Just so I don't get tempted because I mentally invest in something and think it's going to work out. I'll pretend you've bought Bitcoin anytime since literally June. You are banging your head against the wall, and the three-strike rule would have saved you a lot of time. Speaking of three strikes, Nat Gas. People are talking about, oh, I got to buy it. We talked about this very clearly. Once it broke the mid-sixes, you had to stop out. There was no real chill in this. There was no stopping power. There was no, like, what I would call, I don't know, reason to really come back in. As I said, if it got back over 650 after drop below, cool. Then it just kept going. <clears throat> dumped eqt today because just didn't like the action now people go oh you sold you know da, da, da. you have to learn in your own way what feels right if a stock i'm in is frustrating i dump it like look at nat gas going nowhere and then we've been buying oil on all dips over the last like three days why <clears throat> first of all you held support perfectly if you don't know why it's 76 levels, go back in time. Go back in your old time machine. Talked about the 10, sorry, 93 area being resistance. Talked about next support was what? 83, 82, and it bounced. So you hold oil. Does that make sense? Like again, I I don't know anything for sure. Anybody selling you on this? I know this. I know that. We're all just making our best educated conjectures. Let's just be honest, that's what it is. I'll be wrong, you'll be wrong, we'll all be wrong at some point. And the problem is, is that if you get fully, absolutely attached to a trade that isn't working, it has multiple layers of problems that you know present themselves. First, waste of time and money, could have been in other trades. Second, frustration. Probably don't sleep at night. Probably don't feel right. Like anger, 
emotions, which, again, the best way to alleviate, put the shovel down. If you're digging your own grave, stop. Lastly, and this is probably one of the, the most underrated things about just giving up and moving on, is just this the thought of not just emotion, but emotional capital, right? Like your ability to focus your time, energy, your thoughts on what you want to see happen. Like if you're looking for winning up trades and you're going long something that's not going up, there's something else out there. Or say you're looking for a short, you go to that. I mean, it sounds stupidly simple, but I'm telling you, that's what you want. That's why I always make fun of people with MACD, RSI, Bollinger Bands, always looking for the pin action, always trying to study what the option markets can do, all these different layers of complexity that literally just add more reasons to stay in a trade that's not working or basically ignore risk management. Sad to say, that's the truth. I've been there. Trust me, all of these systems and things that people are like, Dan, you don't know what you're talking about. been doing this for a long time. And I've tried everything. And I've back tested stuff. And I've tried to find an edge from free tools. And the thing that I only saw that was consistent was volume price analysis, knowing how the operators work, and understanding how the price action plays out with moving averages and fibs and points of control, support resistance, whatever you want to call it. The simple simplicity of things. If you can't appreciate that, then guess what? You, my friend, are an engineer. You, my friend, are a person who just needs more things to confirm, which again, over analysis leads to paralysis. It happens, but don't act like I'm talking to somebody. Don't act like I'm. this is not true. I guarantee you've at some point run into this. All right, dollar. Um, pop back today. Japan going full throttle QE, selling treasuries. No wonder the TLT has not, you know, again, TLT isn't the bomber, but it follows it. No wonder bonds have not bounced. I've told people once we got stopped out, Ariba Dochi, leave it alone. Sayonara. I'm not going back to the the bond bull put, the bullpen, but the dollar is what it's doing. I've said this, I don't know, a thousand times. The final blow off is a straight line nuclear move higher. At this point, I personally think going into the seasonality of things and the way that the market is acting, because again, we'll show you the evidence. It's not just me saying, oh, it's bullish. Just look at this stuff. I think the dollar is due for what? Just a small pullback. I mean, think about where it's come from and where it's going. Check out the monthly. <clears throat> you go from 24, 30 and change. Pullback a dollar would not be a big deal. <clears throat> 30, 70 down to the 29. 70 would take you back into this area, maybe 28s, I don't know. But again, if you short the dollar, you long it. Oh, sorry, I'm on the monthly. Here you go, 27, 29.70 area. Let me um, draw it a little better. If it gets there, cool. I mean, oh, man, I lost my train of thought because I was on the wrong month. Uh, yeah, a pullback would not be surprising. But if you have stops and a plan, that's fine. I mean, this is hard when it wedges out like this. You don't know for sure. Till what? It breaks. Out or up. TLT. Yep. I mean, I'm not trying to be... What's the way? The best way to describe it? Hindsight 2020 guy, I'm, I'm always right. But I, I mean, this is what we're talking about, emotional capital. I mean, I, every day, people, someone's like, oh, I'm buying bonds. I'm buying bonds. I, I've said this on the monthly. I think... This zone up in the upper 90s should hold. I just, something needs to change. We need a catalyst. And at this point, we aren't getting one, folks. And so if you're up here saying to yourself, I need to buy TLT, you're just like the gold bugs. Like, again, trade it, but if the evidence isn't there, and again, I'm not picking on gold bugs, but you know, guys, I love gold, silver, all that stuff. But I just know when it's not ready. I don't like to, I don't like to go. Wait, I, I, you know, there's only so much action you can take advantage of if you're in certain things. And I'm just telling you right now, TLT, bonds, they just don't seem right. Like, wait for the pivot. Wait for the feds to say A, B, C, D, change in course. So this right, it, it's probably closer to the bottom than it is obviously the top. But do you want to be involved in this? Because every time, I mean, see how you like get purgatory, just get penalized? Well, we saw this action and was like, oh, crap. And then it broke the trend and was like, mm, goodbye. Then started thinking about buying it down here in the low hundreds. I got stopped out. 
on this day. And I just said, oh, man, screw this. And, and this day, meaning literally, literally, in the 10, I think it was like 102 area. Point being is what? I thought this might be a professional gap and go, or it was a novice in reverse and I could get back. Watched it the last couple of days and was like, oh man, that looks strong. But you know what I told myself? And this is what you should tell yourself. You really, 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 really want to get. Wait for the 20 day in red. Wait for the trend. Because again, once it got over it, it held it and went higher. Until then, it keeps playing this game. You know? In this game, meaning, you know, like, not the rapper game. I'm talking about, like, wait for a 20 day or Wu Tang. Like, oh, I'm going to give it to you. No trivia. Cocaine straight from Bolivia. That kind of Wu-Tang. Like a W. A legit W. Something. I just don't want to be earlier. I, I just don't want to be early. VIX. Man, close right at 30. Market just seems to do what? And people are like, again, things that are bullish on. Now, 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 let me go back and go, oh, look at the dollar and TLT. Th those don't help necessarily the bullish case, but Let's look at something again, because this is why this is hard. You know, people are like, oh, I'm, I'm trading and I'm getting, I'm like blown out. I'm like, well, don't be trading so heavily when the, you're unsure. And also, too, when you're in losers, get the heck out of them. Wu Tang, forever. Uh, 20 day. Look what happened here. I've said we're coming back 28, maybe 26 is somehow fill the gap. Oh, do I have to find this chart? I mean, you guys know the 2008 versus 2000 and now. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. Here we go. Let me pull it down. We're in this like, all right, we all know the market's going to get burned later if oil and gas go higher and the VIX is going to spike. This pattern looks very similar to me. Again, if we weren't down 25, 30%, I might not think that, but man, like the action's getting really tight. Going into election year, these guys are literally going QE everywhere in the world. We're trying everything to do to get the markets up. Will they be successful temporarily? Probably. Just keep that in mind. I mean, that's the that's the idea. Wow, the spy. Wow, 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 wow. Check this out into the close. Like this, <laughs> this is action, action Jackson. Look at this sell at the close, rally. I mean. Again, I try to pay attention to the volumes. It's interesting, right? It's OPEX. It's all of your favorite things. We close at or near the 20 day. What a conundrum. I asked folks, and again, if Curran, Drew, you guys are listening, take a time out, take a chill pill. I, I mean, I'm just, I, I don't know how to explain this sometimes other than watch the levels i mean you guys can create stories in your head you can buy puts long term you got watch this level i mean this is the make or break the 20 day everything we talked about i mean literally Curran pulled this out and's like hey looking for a bull trap bear trap rally and then go well he's like oh look for the double bottom retest well keep in mind what higher lows it's more of the like this action 80 down 80 points down a lower a higher sorry a lower low rally back lower low rally back after a big point down now are we at channel lows no i mean but you can draw your channels however the heck you want to but we're over the 20 day i'm sorry I, you just gotta like have this faith that the market's gonna do what the hell it's gonna do and we know everybody's short I mean, Wall Street bets is now just a breeding ground for losers. And ultimately, all those losers shorting, buying puts, ES short, huge spec position, NQ puts, good God. It just has to be worked off. And, I, you know, here's another chart of the day for you. I'll pull it through here. I'm not a big fan of this. I hate seeing the cash raise because what that means is that people are out of position on the sidelines on on dips now what do they I mean what what do you notice about the market since this low and extreme which had decent volume it's probably in this at worst a consolidation phase and i'm not i don't know if it's going back to 200 day but i've said very clearly like bounce back to some point of control well here's a point of control around two uh, sorry 385 to 390 i mean it just seems logical when 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 dan dan oh no, no, no short got a short buy oh, sh jesus 
you know what? We talked about this is a bear trap. It resolves higher. Now, does it pull up and do this double tap back? Keep in mind, this is different. This is coming off of the highs. Everything that's coming up in the Fed meeting is known. There's no wild cards. The future is the wild card. With oil and gas down, commodities pulling back, you bet your bottom line, the next, like the Fed pivot kind of thing is coming. But we know they're not. Again, it's the same kind of crap over and over. QQQ, here you go. Bottoms, look where it's at. It's chopping at the 270 mark. Said you gotta watch it. Does that look bearish? I don't think so. I don't think so because this action, I mean, it's not a straight line. But will we not consider this straight line-ish? Straight line-ish, like, I mean, four days up. Four days up. Four days up only? I. You do the math, 340 down to two, what is it, 255? That is a large move. Don't be surprised if somehow the bears get wiped out on a pop, just like the bulls got stupid and got caught. I'm just telling y'all. IWM, again, things that aren't bearish. Like, look at this action. We talk about IWM leading all the time. And again, if you're new to the channel, I, I, if you think I just repeat myself with stuff and try to pretend I'm hindsight's 2020, that's fine. I don't care. People who truly know, know, like, we've talked about, like, this did not make a new low. Pop back up. Just chilling at the 20-day. Chilling at the June lows. Keep an eye on it. I'm telling you, OPEX might not even tell us anything. Like, take note. I want someone to tell me in the Discord room, hey, Dan, what if market goes nowhere on Friday? Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised um let's go look at the es futures don't really ever do this but <clears throat> same thing 20 day got to get below 3657 mq futures don't really ever pull these up but here's the daily this thing is donkey obviously but you've got some interesting action now good people are like oh look at the volume well, keep in mind the futures contracts they change every three months and so they all start i think what I mean, they've, they're around, but they don't get traded until they become the front month. Notice the volume, like the no action ticks. I think it was, yeah, I was going to say two or three quarters before. Again, I'm correct me if I'm wrong. I <clears throat> Obviously, when they're the front month contract, they're getting the most action volume-wise. And I think Q charts, not Q charts, e-signal doesn't report it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't care. It appreciated. Gold. But just remember what I just said. If it doesn't go anywhere tomorrow, don't. Don't, don't be pissy. All right, gold. Your best friend told you watch out for the 2011 highs to fail. Did. We've talked about those pops. We played this pop. Now what do we do? We're back under the channel. All right, well, go look at the monthly. I'm not a bear. I know this is a big cup and handle, but what did I say? I would love to see the 148s. Maybe we go even lower. When is the best time to buy gold and silver? When the Fed's pivot. Are the Fed's pivoting? Nope. So you just got to be careful. Do not believe in gold and silver beyond what? A scalp. And again, if it's it's a bad scalp. Like, be honest with yourself. People keep talking about buying it. Like, I bought it once, got stopped out, gave up. I'm not stopped out. Made some money, tried to rebuy, then got stopped out. And said, you know what? No, screw this. I'm not. No, mm -mm, I don't believe in this stuff. Wait for the Fed's a pivot or what? Tax loss selling potentially in when? December. End of year tax law selling if you're not familiar with it it is an obvious 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 game because do you want me to do it don't make don't make me pull this car over all right i'm gonna do it december mid-december bottom blank do 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 uh december bounce god i'm gonna do this again for y'all December bottoms starts to run up. Tax law selling. December uh, mid dip into OPEX. I don't know if someone's asking, but OPEX is usually the time to buy gold in December. That one was rising, but still it pulled back mid December. Uh, December. Uh, December. Uh, December. Hmm. 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 Pulled back mid-December. Then popped. 
Oh, God. Tax loss selling the last day of the year was the bottom. Oh, no, actually came back. Whatever. End of December. Seeing a recurring pattern here, Dan? Oh, not really. It was kind of coming off the highs. Not really. I mean, again, not every year, but look at this. December. <laughs> Where's uh, Eric at? Come on. Maybe not this year. Da, 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 da. Mid-December-ish pop. Man. But again, we were in a bull market, so it's a little different. Remember, 2000s. Are we, are, is the picture being painted? Do you need, does, is 80% of the time correct? Wait for the Fed pivot or tax law selling. I am not going to go long gold, silver, any of this crap. And it's not crap, which it, to me, when I say crap, it's the way this stuff is manipulated. It's bull crap. Silver, blah, 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 dead. GDXJ will explain the trade. Remember this? Remember this, folks? Talked about blowout. Look at the volume. We're like, hmm, it's probably due to bounce. We got in here on this day. Sold up at the 50 day, a little near the high. Tried to buy this day. It was like, eh, I'm done. I'm done. Got stopped out. Rallied back, which was rather infuriating. Then it proved me right again, going lower. <laughs> Leave it alone. Little doggy. Leave this stuff alone. GDX, let me say that. Man, I'm just going to roll through these. AG. Somebody was saying, hey, uh, what do you think of AG? Dead money. Leave it alone. AEM, we do love this name long term because what? There is volume down here at the lows, but it doesn't mean it can't. I'm like talking in like our song. Doesn't mean it can't retest. Clearly. Again, just let it play out. If you're late and this is a five to ten year bull market in gold and silver, I don't want to hear you whine if you're a day late. Oh, well, damn, what will we be looking for? A capitulation, some sort of massive outside reversal candle, whatever. You don't need to be early. Newmont, piece of junk. Piece of crap car. This is my piece of crap car. I think that was Adam Sandler, if I remember right. Holding the lows. <sighs> whatever. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, is... Is gold and silver going to be ready when retail throws the ring in the fires of Mordor and Frodo and Baggins? Like clearly everybody, every Baggins out there who be Baggins, metals miners, gives up. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think of a movie reference pun, but it's literally a bunch of hobbits still own you know, what do they call them? The Harefoots? The Hatterfoots. The hatter you got the Hatterfoots, you know? A lot of Baggins. A lot of Baggins. A lot of people go, well, Dan, how do you, why do you, you know, give up on trade sometimes? Because I've been in gold and silver before. I have been a hobbit, <laughs> essentially. Rolling through. Tech, let's do it. Been absolutely throttled. 165 down to 54. We got some volume that guided down, holding sideways. I'm again, I'm not bullish on this stuff long term, but look what happens when you hit those channel lows. You channel back up some at worst. Nvidia, piece of junk again. What get over the 20 day? Mm. Mm. SMH, somebody was like, I'm buying Soxel. Jesus, leave Soxel alone. Once a once a levered ETF goes under 10, it's trash. But look at this action. I mean, it's kind of basing out. Look at the volume. If you wonder why I literally will instant ban people from wanting to talk about charting leverage ETFs. I mean, they just, they're, they're garbage. Garbage. I know this is down, but keep in mind, SMH is nowhere near the all-time lows. But look at, like, Soxis. Oh, Dan, I was charting the Soxis. Oh, you were? You were charting the Soxis. Look at the monthly. You tell me, what do you see here, bro? I see a never-ending reverse splits. They're one for 10, one for 12, one for 10. You're going to tell me this is your charting edge. This crap. This crap. I mean, I can't even open my charts enough to show. I, I give up. And this is where, again, if you now have seen this video and you come into the Discord room and go, I was charting the Soxis. No, it's charting the SQQ. No, it's charting the instant timeout. Not a ban. Just a reminder. Like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 
Adobe, talked about it. You could sold puts down here. 275s, now it's rallying. Get, remember, they came out with their guidance. Chop, chop, slop, chop. A a Apple, things that aren't bearish. When everybody keeps saying that they are going to miss their numbers and that they are not selling phones well, and look at the action since the bottom. Remember, the market makers need liquidity, y'all. If they need liquidity, it doesn't matter what you think. They will cover, and then they will short it later, or sell it, or take their positions. Please lead, read the Livermore book, and li not read, listen to it. Listen to it a dozen times before you open your trap about how the market works. I'm telling you, it's going to be life-changing. Ah, it's pure comedy. I hate having to do this late in the day, but guess what? Real estate called. I had to do it. Amazon, not taking out the lows. Going little doggy. Nine, and people are like, look at that wick. I'm like, eh, look how it's still holding up. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. CRM. <laughs> okay. Piece of junk. Look at that. Bouncing. Google, down on Snap's earnings. And here's what I have to say about Snap. Nothing relative to them. Don't care. I said, watch the action. Watch the short cover. Now watch how the reactions play out. Because Snap is so bad that, I mean, again, it's got nothing love. But here's where you need to watch. How does it affect Google? How does it affect Meta? That'll tell you a lot because if they pop right back, like zing pow, right back, it's going to tell you something. It's going to tell you the liquidity that was given freely from sellers of Snap didn't affect Meta, Googs, Guggenheim, Guggenheim, Guggenheim. Mm -hmm, yes, Guggenheim. People are like, oh, you you need to be more authentic. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to start turning into the comedian that I'd like to be and doing these videos. If you like it, let me a comment. I appreciate it. Because, again, some people are like, oh, just talk to chart, talk charts. I'm like, man, I, I don't want a 30 minutes of just bore you with, here is the technical hammer. We're under the 20-day, and there's nothing. No, channel lows. Watch out. Watch out. Because, again, remember, earnings is coming. Nas is coming. Well, earnings is coming. Now, remember what we talked about. This is dog crap. Stock is over. But I guarantee, without a doubt, that there's going to be a bounce. Either it's before earnings or with earnings. Because everybody hates it. you got to remember, nothing. once the scale tips one direction, the market makers got to use it to what? Unload their positions. Microsoft likes when the dollar rise, or goes lower. Holding tight. I, again, I don't like these stocks long term, but due to bounce. NDAQ, every day I kick myself for not shorting it up here. But now we're at the channel lows, and I'm like, oh, their earnings came out. Didn't that doesn't, doesn't even matter what the numbers are, y'all. I hope you understand that. Maybe something as bad as Snap, yes. But in general, as long as the numbers are in line, the reaction is a total crapshoot. Here you go. I don't know. I mean, it, I pray for a bounce. Because I want to short this is the coin base of the NASDAQ. Once the volume comes off the NASDAQ and the commodity bull market starts, oh my God, NDAQ will be a cheap stock. MicroStrategy, things that aren't bearish, right? Like, look at this. Still holding the 20 day, not anywhere clear, not anywhere close to the May lows. Tell me this is bearish. I don't know. Netflix bought this right before the close on earnings and said, you know what? I'll buy 50 shares. Screw it. Talk again. Gets absolutely slapped. Talking about like the donkey kicked. I don't know if I should say donkey punch. Is that illegal? Should I say that? Donkey punch, dragon fire slapped, whatever you want to like create names for things. I'm going to try to keep it G rated. Hits the 200 day. Did I take any? Nope. What did I say? I would not be surprised if we somehow try to pretend to fill the gap. Please mind the gap. That looks like a big professional gap after a big consolidation pattern. Oh, but Dan, it's not going higher. Um, It looks like it is. That's why I got shares. Roblox, not a lot, but we'll see what happens. Things that aren't bearish, not anywhere close to the lows. People keep talking about certain things, and I said this, I think, at least a dozen times. I mean, I've noticed maybe your kids as well, friends' kids. Once they go back in school, what are they playing after school? Not sports and going outside, a bunch of slap heads. No, they're playing Roblox. Tesla bought this today. 
three layers, 206, 205, 20650, 20550, 205, something, I can't remember. Doji, Sega, I don't know if you remember that, it's from, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I make myself laugh. Remember uh, Sonic the Hedgehog? Like, opens up. It's like Sega when you start on the TV or start it up. Here you go. I mean, again, I I don't know if this is going to bounce strongly, but I do know what. This thing has been absolutely bludgeoned. Like, we told you this was the blow off move. Now it just, again, I, I'm not trying to get rich here, but you buy a couple hundred shares, you buy a couple long dated calls today, probably not with the IV so high. I mean, you had to play shares. That's all I did. Not a lot. And again, I'm just dabbling. How many shares you buy, Dan? All right, 250. Not a lot. Not to me, at least. I mean, that's 100, 150. That was the light. And just, I mean, I don't know what to say. I know, yes, look at the monthly. It's a monster head and shoulders. I have said this till I am blue in the face. This candle ruined it for bulls. It was game over. Then you had the doji, and it's been confirmed. But look, even on this shoulder, choppy chop. Are we going to go choppy chop? I don't know. I mean, do you see how I'm, like, taking my brain out of it? Just assume you're going to lose and stick to your risk management. All right. Done with tech. Just done with it. Let's get into commodities. Letter X. Pops back today. Holding the 20-day. Earnings are coming. New core, things that are not bullish. Guides down. Says weakness. Look at this candle. Are you looking at this, Curran? This is action you don't see if the market's about to dump. Speaking of, Alcoa, crappy earnings. Look at this action. Opens at the low, closes above the 20-day on absolute monstrosity of volume huh. Huh, okay well off the lows we shall see anyway i usually don't do alcohol but uh valet materials were acting strong today holding the 50 day that's why we stick into commodities y'all not trading tech but other than some of the names that i feel like could be good but Love the commodity space. Y'all know we're moving around through the oil patch. Valet. Looks okay. I mean, not buying these long-term, but again, I don't like these cheap stocks. I just don't I don't get excited about them. Arrow. Mikey Mike, I think, bought it at the 50-day. Cool. Talked about, like, I don't know. Do you trust it? Nope, I don't trust cheap stocks. Ooh, hold on. Do y'all see this? Is there, like, a trendy trend? A tendy trend? Huh. Okay, well, look above and fail. Channeling, channeling. Turn on your Direct TV. Uh, I don't know. Just, that's that's not a good joke. CCJ goes all in on nuclear, which we think long term is a in great idea. We will see this sucker in the 17, 18, maybe sixteen range at some point. But guess what? What did we say? As long as it could hold above twenty two seventies, not badish. Not the baddish. Mm -hmm. Okay, CF. Let's talk about this because a lot of people getting real frustrated with it. And here we go. Jay Solstice. What up, brother? Talked about head and shoulders. Bottom. Is this not a strong name? Oh, lower left, upper right. Don't show me that AMD and go, that's strong. No, this is strong. Very strong. We stick to the leaders, right? Market goes nowhere. CF makes higher highs. Nice pop. Obviously, we talked about buying it here, taking some profits, got bought in, stopped out, popped in, stopped out. I don't know, maybe twice. Got back in. Oh, the end of the world. Stop it. You stop it. No, as long as you don't take out the lows, it can play this game. And you know, like, I don't know if this is an instinct song, but like, stop playing games with my heart or whatever stupid boy band that was but that's like it's playing games with your heart this action to me didn't say anything bad nor good it was like just wait and then look today closes over the 50 day <sighs> feels good to be a gangster uh mosaic we're talking about holding the channel lows bouncing i mean get things that aren't bearish sticking to trying to find the leaders trying to find some leaders for y'all ntr said whoa 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 nelly 
Whoa, Nelly, Peter, Peter Jackson here. Watching the Florida Gators football. No, you know, like, whoa, whoa. Okay, you got the point of control right there. See it? We hit it. Doji. And just chopping higher. I mean, it looks like a basketball that's, like, got water, like, being pressed underwater and just pops right back up because the oxygen in it. Keep an eye on it, right? XBI. Pulled the trigger on this today. A little early. 77. Does this look bearish? Yes. But does it now? Double bottom. Potential double bottom. Look. So here's the thing about this thing. It loves to consolidate. Well, if you could... Wild Warrior, if you're around, remember we talked about like holding the 100 day. Does anyone remember this? If you do, remember, like, leave a comment, please. Be like, yeah, you were like, dude, watch it. It happens. It's that holds the 100 day. Held it and went zinc five days. Okay. The longer it holds the lows, and again, this is where it's so easy. I don't need to think. It's like watching UNG, and if it breaks below, I'm gone. But if it holds here, like, if UNG would hold, it's probably going to bounce. How high? I don't know. How high you want to get? 84? 88, 93, I don't know. I'll take the risk at 77, 76. How high do you want to get, huh? How high? No, I mean, there's no highs and lows. I mean, do I have to draw it? I mean, there you, whoops, whoop, there it is. Just hold this, hold this. XBI, whatever, we're up, moving, up, move, moving right along, trying to get the faster. XLF. XFL? No, XLF. We talked about it. Major strength, huh? Now backs off to the 20-day. Hmm, not below the June lows. Oh, but Dan, 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 the market's got to retest lows. No, it doesn't. No, we blew out. These are blowout candles. <laughs> Maybe some names, but not the whole market. Morgan Stanley, higher lows. JP Morgan, the piece of crap. Jamie Dimon bottom. I told y'all when he said the market was going to go 20% lower, what happened? That was the bottom. I called it the Jamie Diamond freaking bottom. Look at his stock. Does this look weak to you guys? Rally. Holding. Got to hold the 100 day. I mean, I'd even say the 50 day. Do you see how this doesn't look that bearish once you start looking at everything? And now that Japan's going full bond buying liquidity spree, Give it a few days. I don't know. I mean, again, anticipate higher prices. Stop being so stupid thinking that the market has to blow up. It will at some point, but what? say it over and over. You need to put the feds in a position to do what? Have to continue to raise rates. Because 6 7% bond mortgage rates aren't that uncharacteristic, guys, gals. Solar. Let's roll into Solar. Holding high and tight, we want to short the absolute dog pee out of this. Give me any, give me, give me 137, 140s. Just give me 125, 130 next. We'll watch. <sighs> Sedge, such a piece of junk, but it's even basing here. Things that aren't bearish. ENPH, holding the gap. Holding the gap. Oh, sorry, right here. No, hold. Holding this line in the gap. Look at today's action. It did not close at the lows. Man, things that just aren't bearish. And we'll end it with oil. Let's get to oil. Uh, give me that. Talked about buying this at what? 68? Who remembers buying at 68? 68's 50? Uh-huh. Started buying some more under the 70 level. Why? Would, why? Whoa. Why would you buy oil? But it's acting better. Does this anywhere near the lows of two weeks ago or whatever, a month ago? It's, I mean, God, it's almost a month now. No, it's not. We showed you the USO. But you want to buy UNG? Go right ahead. I'm not buying it. Not until it shows strength, but here you go. Oil's holding up. We not agree. I don't care if you agree or not. It is. UNG. Here you go. Breaks below your levels. Goodbye. And I mean, not goodbye, like adios. Now here you are. If you want to take a stab at it, be my guest. If you are buying this trade as of right today, I bless that. Bless you, my child. Because it makes sense. But if you bought it between there and now, it didn't. Again, it's pretend it's a new trade. But here's the thing about nat gas. 
the Widowmaker. The Chop Maker. Just be aware. It might not go right away. <sighs> Exxon Mobil. Leading. I've said this. Going to new highs. Dan, I'm shorting it. Someone, I'm like, you are out of your mind. Then it gapped up again and goes. Things that aren't bearish. Exxon Mobil is not going to 52-week highs in a market that's about to implode. So watch it. I mean, if it holds up and high, then it's telling you the market ain't going to implode. I mean, there's a reason why I watch, I have a monster watch list. I probably have 100 names compared to some of y'all with 15, 20. And you're trying to make your decision with your head in your butt. Occidental. It's not an accident. It's holding up. EQT. Let's talk about risk management and I'll wrap it up. ExxonMobil. Hi. This name getting added. It was a nice trade. Remember, we bought it and wrote it up. What is the thing that I don't like about this? Is that it's just frustrating. I can always come back. And I sold at 42 today. And a lot of people are like, oh, you sold. You didn't sell at the highs, but you're just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You should just hold it. I'm like, I'm watching CF hold the 50 day. And I'm watching this thing. And I said, it has to get over the 50 day. If you go, I mean, here, let me see that. I know it's not going to show up on the 10 minute. Where the heck did it go? Did I delete my 10 minute? No. I was watching it. I was watching it. Nice little action at the close. I wonder what that volume was. Maybe it comes back. I don't know. Maybe I'll regret it. I just watched it get up here and I was like, oh, are you kidding? And here's like the point of control. And I was like, oh, it's just getting tired. And we saw the market starting to melt. And I'm like, this thing isn't leading up. It's not like CF where it was like growing as it went higher. And then as the market pulled back, it like didn't act like it cared. Like CF was like, We're, I'm not going anywhere. This just kept going. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Now we'll see what happens here. Now it's back at the point of control. And I saved myself a dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five, sir. Isn't that how much your mother charges for a beep? Y'all know that's another Adam Sandler one. Dollar twenty-five, sir. It just is what it is. Move moving right along. Could you get other names? I mean, do you see the problem here? I don't think I talked about tan. Hmm. Holding. When you look at names like ExxonMobil, and again, if today's action followed through, I said, if it could get over this, I, that's fine. I'll give it a pass. Didn't. I, I got to instill this upon you because this is the thing about markets. Now, when it when the markets are all trending one direction, you don't really have this problem. And so maybe this is newer for folks who are newer to the channel or newer to following. Like choppy markets are terrible and i'll end it on that i mean you have to be familiar with the fact that sometimes the best trade is not getting into a trap or a trade that's not going to go anywhere and i'm just sorry that it's like seems so difficult but you take all of the power oh let's buy a socks hole never was this a trade you have all the power and i'm telling you that with the intention of giving you the power in your own mind, in the sense of like, believe it. Look at the volume. I hate, man, I hate reverse. I hate these ETFs, people chart them. Take the power back, like act. And and, and do you want to inst institute the three strike rule? Three strikes, you're out. Something doesn't work after one, two, three ads, whatever, watch it for one, two, three days, whatever you want to call it. Just move on. There is a plethora of names that we can talk about. But if you show me something, and I'm sorry to laugh at this one, but someone was like, check out, oh, my man, checking out KO. And I'm like, why would you trade Coca-Cola? Like, this just looks bad. This doesn't look strong. Oh, but I think it's going to pop. This is not even like a trash dog. This is just Coca-Cola. I, I don't know. Why, why trade it? Can you stick to the, try to find the strongest names? Can you just do that for me? Don't buy the meme crap stocks try to find the best names in the market that's our goal let's do it all right have a great week rest of your week friday again if the market doesn't go anywhere don't be surprised opex maybe we pin maybe we pin to 365 or maybe we pin in the morning and then we make a move down to 363 and then bounce right back and close back at 37 i don't know but guess the next candle game with opex remember we talked about Part of the week up, part of the week down. Here's your up, here's your down. Middle, again, you want to see 
the weekly what is that what are we at what would be ideal for the options makers doge coin doji all right i'm out peace hey thanks for watching if you have any questions stop by the discord room a link is in the description below also if you'd like to help support more free content your paypal link is in the description as well i appreciate your continued support of the channel